Hey, morning, Natalie. Morning, Sarah. All right, hi, Nancy. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Hi, Jillian. Morning. Michelle, make sure to make sure to tie your shoes this morning. All right, Lisa. Hello. Good morning. Chris, boiler up, Chris. Good morning. Okay, we'll get started in just a few moments here. We have about one more minute. So if you're doing the replay, just go ahead and kind of fast forward. First time, first time, there we go. Welcome, hi Abby, good morning. Mavis, good morning. How are we all doing this morning? Okay, all right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Insanity. I am David. I'm so happy that you're all here. So good to see you out there in the cyber world and uh, Insanity. We're going to get after it this morning. So uh, just like I, I always do, I'll show an exercise. There's options for everything. So I'll show a less challenging option first, and sometimes I'll show some up options. I want to give a uh, special shout out today to, uh, to Front Row Sarah. It was her birthday yesterday, so happy birthday, Sarah. And I uh, uh, hope you had a wonderful day yesterday. Okay, all right, it's time to get going. It's insanity time. I'm going to change the music. Let's get ready to warm up. Here we go. So we always start with just a little boxer shuffle or a light jog, just to get our bodies moving. We can also just be marching right here, just in place. All right, all right. It's good to be moving, it's good to be moving. We're right back to it. We're doing some great things for ourselves today. Let's get it going. We got 50 minutes to make it happen. All right, we're gonna start a move called Power Strike. We're just gonna punch down to the ground two times on each side, give you a little bit of a knee and a leg on this move. Driving through those hands and just going side to side, picking up those feet and rotating side to side. There we go, we'll drive through those hands. Just a little something to get us moving this morning, allowing our bodies to start the process to warm up, to get those limbs warmed up, to get those joints feeling a little bit better. Next up, ski down side to side. Sweep those arms through, a little hop side to side. Option here, step or a little skip side to side. Now some of you might take this under the up option and hit those slopes and get slaloming right there, grabbing those ski poles. So it's totally up to you. As we land, we land as softly as we can when we come on down to the ground. Yeah. Next up, forward, back hops. Keep your mouth shoulder width apart, and we're just hopping forward and back. You stay facing me, I'm just showing you a side view. We can also stay right in those legs and step forward and step back. Using those arms a little bit just for some forward and back momentum. We've got a few more moments right here. A little bigger move now. 
knee taps. Opposite hand to opposite knee. Leaning slightly forward into this move. Option, march it out. March it out. Good. Getting those knees up. Using that core to lift those legs. And again, we're trying to lean forward into this. Awesome, stop. Squat pulse, just stay in the squat. Stay right on the ground and just pulse into those legs. Make sure those knees are going towards those toes. We're gonna heat up those quads a little bit. Make sure those knees get nice and loose. Option here, you just choose your range of motion. Now, if you want just a little bit of a hop, that is an up option, that's your choice. Ooh, all right. I'm already feeling my heart rate. Climbing on up. Next up, down dog and spider. Come down dog, walk one foot to the outside of the hands, then back to down dog, other foot, other side. And just alternate. Keep alternating. There we go. All right. Woo. Enjoy that stretch up and down dog, getting those ears between those arms. And a nice stretch through our hamstrings, through our glutes, as we draw those knees forward. All right, this is move number six. Back to the top, power strike. Second time through. We bring a little bit more intensity to what we do. So we move faster, we pivot faster. We're trying to make those moves a little bigger, a little stronger. Take it in, written it out this morning. All right, great way to start the day. Here we go, ski down, side to side, bigger hops, sweep those arms just a little bit more, get that slalom option, or step in side to side. Hitting those slopes, hitting those moguls, getting after it, going right through that powder. Oh, nothing better than making that happen. Forward back hops. Here we go, just push those hands. Push those hands. Being soft on our feet, soft on our landings. Yeah, and making sure we feel the whole foot hit the ground. Just little taps to those heels. We don't want to put excess stress on our heels and arches. That just causes problems on that pit of fascia. We don't want the itis, but we want good healthy feet. Knee taps. Here we go. Speed it up. Speed it up. Can we go faster? Can we get those knees higher? That's right. We got it. We're getting it going. We're getting it going. We're moving. We're right here. We're together. Better together. Squat pulse. Stay low and pulse. Either little hops or stay on the ground. Woo! How about you? But something's happening right there. Getting that heart rate going. Getting that breath heavy. Feeling good. We just got one more thing to do after this, folks. I hope you're already starting to feel a little bit warmer. All right. Moving on. Down dog and spiders. Final thing for us back. Down dog and breathe. That foot to the outside of the hands. Great stretch up top too. Through those shoulders. Just a length in our upper body as we press back. I can't think of any other better warm up stretch than doing some down dog spiders right here. So good. So good. Take a breather. All right, we earned it right there. Whew. A little sip of water, got some sweat on that brow. Go ahead and wipe it off now. We got some work to do this morning. We got some work to do. Okay. Block one's coming up. It's all about plyometrics, jump training, and speed movements. Okay, I got about two and a half jumps. Two and a half jumps. I'll put a, I'll put a burpee in as a jump. Uh, and then we got one bona fide speed movement and maybe a little half tied to that. And I've got a fan favorite in block one this morning. 
And we'll see that move as our first exercise. Take a little moment right here. Stay loose, stay warm. Make sure those limbs don't cool down and those muscles don't tighten up. Okay, it's time to get going. Okay, we're gonna start with the burpee, Sarah Plank Jack. The burpee, Sarah Plank Jack. That will be move number one. We're gonna come on down, jump and jack on the ground, hop up, and then a little hop up at the top. I've got some options, okay? Set the hands down, step back, tap the toes to the side, and then step up and reach, take the hop out at the top. Whew. I'm watching you, Sarah. Are you doing these? Come on, come on. All right, good stuff. A lateral lunge and a tuck jump. We're gonna alternate side to side on that lateral lunge. You pick that range as you come down. Option here, slide the leg back from that side lunge and just lift the knee up. Land it softly on the ground, toe ball and kneel as we land on the ground. Straight arm jumping jacks. This is our speed move. Here we go. Now option here, step inside to side. Tapping those toes out nice and wide. But just keep punching those hands up to the sky. Nice. Fast hands and fast feet right here. Outstanding effort. Good. Wide leg, vertical jump. Just jumping straight up. Keeping those legs wide. Wider than our shoulders. Sweep those hands through and come on up. Option, stay on the ground and just reach onto those toes. Get as high as those hands will go. Let me see if I can get my ceiling right here. All right. Woo. Dave's got some hops this morning. Take a breath. Take a breath. 30 seconds right here. Hydrate appropriately. Catch your breath. Let that heart rate come down. We got two more times doing that. How are we doing out there? We got a good group this morning. Perfect playing jacks. Let's get back to it. Here we go. Jump in jack feet. Now we get down to that plank, make sure those shoulders stay right above those hands. And we get nice and long in that plank position at the bottom of that burpee. Next up, side lunge and that top jump. Step it out and bring it up. Again, remember the option. Slide that leg back. Slide that leg back and a little knee lift. It's good. Nice, good control of our bodies here. Don't let the other way around happen. We own this stuff. Fast jacks, come on. Keeping those hands moving. Keeping those feet moving. All right, all right. There we go. Are we feeling strong? Are we feeling happy? Are we feeling healthy? Keep on. Wide vertical jump. Yeah, wide feet. Keep them wide, put those thumbs up to the sky. Keep digging, keep driving those feet straight down. How high can you get? Can you get your ceiling? You got a lower ceiling like me in my basement? Maybe, maybe you got those 20 foot ceilings. You know, give it a try, give it a try. Woo. All right. 
That's about enough of that. Okay. We do it one more time. We do it one more time. Through that. We'll complete it with the power move. Yeah. You hear that? That stuff's real. That stuff's real. Y'all make me work hard, and I'll make you work hard. Perfect play, Jack. Let's get right back to it. Getting down and getting right back up. It's the name of the game. Keep digging, keep fighting, keep moving. Keep doing just the best that we're able to. Side lunge and a tight jump. Excellent, excellent. Working our hops this morning. Working on our landings. Get our body control, our core strength. We're getting it done. Straight arm, jumping jacks. Woo! Keep those hands, keep those feet. This is the speed move. Nice, nice. We are staying after it, folks. We are staying after it. Looking so good. Very good jumps. Right stance. Swing those arms through. All right now. Just a moment. Just a moment. Few more, few more. Okay, now's our power move. Eight four spins and two in and outs. Do something like this. From the side you face me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Feet knees together. Hop in and hop out. Right back to those eight floor sprints. Option. One foot on the ground. March one knee up at a time. Option on those in outs. Walk the feet one at a time. In and out. We got 60 seconds right here. Let's see what we're made of this morning. Come on. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Keep those shoulders hovering above those hands. Keep that plank position intact. The integrity of that plank. Keep those shoulders driving forward. Curl those toes. Drive those heels. Hips down low, no higher than shoulder height. So close, we're so close. And now we're done. Catch your breath. Awesome job. That's block one. We got three more to go. We're doing amazing things. All right. Block two, building a stronger you. Building a stronger you. Focusing on upper lower body strength and some core engagements. We'll start on the floor in just a moment. Some moving push-ups. All right. All right, let's get down to the ground and get ready to go. We're not messing around from high plank. It's time to get going. We're gonna walk the right hand, right foot. Push up in between, and then to the left side, right, left hand, left foot, and a push up in between. Now option here, drop to those knees. Drop to those knees, and you can still walk side to side. Nice range of motion and depth on those push ups. You get to choose that. You know you better than I know you. So you move you, you move you. Lunge pulse, right foot forward, Left foot back, just pulsing straight up and down. Ears over shoulders and over hips. Knee right towards those toes. Keep that knee in that alignment right there and intact. Good. Now both knees are bending. You feel a little stretch on the hip. That's okay. Maybe walk it forward a little bit back. But if it hurts the knees a little bit, just step that foot back a little bit more. And it just places some of the weight into our hips. It takes the stress off the knee. In and out hands. Push up. So walk the hands in and out and get one push up. Knees or toes. 
Walk, walk, in and out, and right back to that wide grip push up. Good integrity on those push ups. Elbows tracking back about 45 degrees toward our feet. Protect those shoulders, people. Protect those shoulders. Nice and long bodies as best we can. Flip it over for switch kicks. Fingertips facing towards the feet. And a little hip drop and switch kick. Kick in those feet. Okay, option here. Sit down, kick those feet, or just stay static and keep one foot on the ground at all times. Just take a little bit of interaction off that move. Try to keep those shoulders hovered right above those hands the whole time. There we go. That's a lovely exercise right there. Very nice. Virtual fist bumps after block two. Y'all are doing awesome. Nice job. Way to go. Walking around the room. Get in my back row. I add a little hip, a little jig to it. Yes, we dance. I'm gonna add a little bit more volume on the music. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Yeah. We're back to those moving push-ups now. Here we go, back to the ground. Get walking side to side. Getting that depth, engaging our body, working our core, as well as our upper body here. Make your body long and into that plank position. Try to keep it there. Try to keep it there. Lunge pulse, left leg forward this time. Left leg forward. Good. Again, here's over shoulders, over hips. Knees right towards those toes. Feel something on the top of that quad. Bend your hands right here at your hips and you guide the range of motion. So good, so good. Get out here, push ups. Here we go, walk in, walk out, and right back to that push up. Digging in, driving those hands right through the ground. As we walk those hands, that's all core. That's all core. Squeeze those abs. Try to avoid those hips rocking side to side. I know mine are, I can feel it. I gotta be more aware of that. Four, switch kicks, flip back over. Hands facing, fingertips facing the shoes. Woo! Keep those hips off the ground. Keep those hips off the ground. Unless you're doing the option, try to keep them up. Work those hips, get them moving. Let them be that momentum to move your body, to move you. Ah. Take a breath. All right. One more time on those. Continue to hydrate. You're doing awesome. Oh my goodness, moving push ups. Moving push ups, no time for a water break. There we go. Side to side. Nice and wide. Keep that depth, keep that dry. This is the third time through. We're feeling that fatigue. We're feeling that fatigue. Come on up, lunge pulse, right leg forward. Right leg forward for just a moment, and then we'll switch halfway. We're feeling that fatigue, that's okay. Because that means we're earning the way we feel. Let's go ahead and switch sides, left leg forward. All right, all right. Staying in it, staying with it. Whatever we got is the best version of ourselves right now. In our hands and push ups. Whatever we got is the best version. Okay? If what we need is a break, that's okay. Everybody takes breaks. Everybody takes breaks. That's fine. We're doing our thing. We're doing our thing. This is your workout and you own it. And you own it. 
Good. Keep driving those hips. Keep driving those hips. Yeah. Four switch kicks. We're right back to it. Here we go.
Good, light and agile feet here. Good soft landings and hops side to side. Forward back sprints, again to me. Come on back, ground ankles, shins or knees on the depth of those. And a little fancy dance right at the end with those cross jacks. It doesn't have to be pretty, folks. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be moving our body. What's moving you today? What's moving you today? Mountain climbers, high hands and knees. Come on, 30 seconds of these. Keep reaching, keep lifting. What do we got for today? What do we got for today? Woo! Man, this one gets me every time, every time. Left knee ball and travel across with that right hand. Way to dig. Way to drive those knees up. Get them up there. Bring the knees to the hands. Not the other way around. Not the other way around. Come on. All right. It's real. It's happening. But it's all good. We got one more. We got one more. Here we go. Here we go. Hop, hop, squats. Let's go, let's get some more. Okay, now we're feeling that fatigue again. This is the time where we have to really reach down. This is the time where we have to find what we're made of right here. What can we dig into? What can we push ourselves through? Forward back sprints. Cross checks. What do we have? It's just more than just physically moving our bodies. The mental toughness, working our minds through this. If we can believe we can, then we can. Come on. Oh, these mountain climbers. I'm gonna really have to believe I can on these. Oh. Cambridge. Oh yeah. He's like to take my breath away. You hear me get silent? That is why. Right leg, he pulled and chop across. A jab across. We'll go halfway here and then switch. Let's go ahead and switch sides now. Left knee and right jab. One minute right here. Another little stance checks. Gonna come out. Side to side. Sweep those hands. Opposite hand. Opposite foot. Clicking those heels in the middle. Bending one leg, lengthening the other. To the ground. Ankles, shins, or knees. Option. Step side to side on knees. Let's Yeah, we're halfway. Come on. Just a few more. Just a few more. Keep the body going. Keep the body going. Come on. We can get there. We can get there. Yeah. 
this is rough today, but it's worth it in every way. Okay, all right. Block four, abs and core. We're gonna start on the ground, seated position. Go to take a load off, so we can start right down there in just a moment. Another variation of a fan favorite coming up right here. That makes three, and I'm probably gonna pay for that, but it's worth it. I'm good again. I'm gonna turn just a little bit to the angle so you can see me a little bit better. All right, seated, in out abs, hands to the side, and feet knees together. Draw those knees up to the chest and drive those feet out. You can also tap those heels out on the way out. The other option, Keep one foot on the ground all the time and bring the knee in one at a time. Good. A little lean forward as those knees draw in. Now we're going to flip over onto our elbows, low point, tap out. So tapping one foot side to side. One foot side to side. Seat face in the end. Then turn to the side. Let's keep those shoulders right above those elbows. Put our eyes on those hands, not at our shoes. We look at our feet. We got great clearance. Let's see if we lift our hips. Don't lift your hips. Nice, long, and strong body. Look all the way up. High knee twist. Nice and slow. And just a hop or step. Turn in to that knee lift. Turn into it. Squeezing those external obliques. That space between our ribs and our hips. Awesome job right here. Good way to dig into it. Just the right side, point the toes toward the right side. Elbow, tongue, knee, meet at midline. Externally rotating that hip, keep the knees and toes facing that side, and then squeeze a little exhale as we connect the knee and the leg. Work it right at the top of those hips, and again those external obliques. I don't know about you guys, this leg right here feels like a thousand pounds right now. Why is it not moving? All right. Little breather. Come right back to that seated position. Back to that seated position, in out. Here we go, feet knees together, hands to the side, in and out. Float those heels. Tap those heels, whatever you got, whatever you got. Work on that core. That core is right through the top of those legs, into the abs, and right up just below our chest. Flip over, elbows, real quick, tap out. One foot at a time, just tapping out. Sorry, the option here from our knees. We can be on our knees and tap one leg or lengthen one leg out to the side at a time. Sorry for the delay on that. Put something just like that. Come on up, high knee and twist. And just a little hop side to side or a step side to side. Either way, you're going to get the desired feel. The desired feel. The desired strength engagement here. Right there. External obliques. Anytime we're lifting those legs. Anytime we're lifting those legs, we're building strength in our core. Anytime we do it with the right posture, we do it a little bit more. Left leg this time. Point that left knee and toe to the left side. Left elbow to the knee or quad. Reach and stretch, and then exhale and squeeze. Get with these legs. Feel like a ton. Hang it right here. Good stuff. Good stuff. Great effort. Okay. 
Okay, how about you? Well, whatever's going on right here, it's working. It's working. The combination of these moves, getting after it this morning by the core. We got one more time. We got one more time on those. Woo. Get back to that seated position if you need to take a load off. Let's do it again. Here we go. In and out. In and out. across the top of the quads on this one. Oh, those legs. Oh, those legs. Go oh, those. A little body tap out. Here we go. All right. So when our body starts to feel that way, when we're fatigued, when we're tired, that's when we really have to focus. Focus on the best form we know how. Even if we slow down a little bit, keep it real. Keep it true. Okay? Got to have that awesome form. True to form. Bring it up, high knee twists. High knee twist, turn into it. A little hop, a little step. And then side crunch, right foot, turning. We'll spend half the time in here. Whew. Now let's go ahead and switch sides. That left foot pointed to the side. Get right to the end of block four. We've got just a little bit more of power move. Seated position. I'm going to stay at an angle. It's a four count C sit to B sit. We sit back, C sit, his heels on the ground, little C shape up top, and hold for four counts. B sit, lift those legs up, boat position, hands up or down. Create that V shape with your body, and you alternate between those two. Four counts of each. You guide the pace. You guide the pace. Yeah, hey, oh, halfway. Halfway. Good. Stay tall on those C-sits. Keep that good form on those V-sits up top. We lengthen those legs on those V-sits. Anybody else feeling the tops of those quads? I'm trying to get my toes up there a little higher. But that's, you know, we just do what we're able to do with what we have right now, right? Right? Just appreciate what we're able to do. And not what we can. But we just did amazing things right there. Okay. We got one more thing to do, dig deeper. It's coming up. We got three moves for three minutes. We got a little break right here, about 30 seconds. Take that breather for yourself. Okay. All right. Don't know if you caught it back here. We got Ren and Stimpy joining us this morning. And then Cat Dog, a Cat Dog. So I guess it's Stimpy, you idiot. Oh, oh Ren. And then Cat Dog. I used to have a Cat Dog. I had a cat that acted like a dog. His name was Peyton, named after. The sweetness, sweetness Walter Payton. Okay, all right, come on up. Let's move those limbs a little bit. To make sure we're still warm and still loose. We got three moves coming up. Forward, back, sprints to that cross jack. Okay, low plank tap outs, because why not? Because why not, and then hop, hop, and squats to finish us off, okay? So that would be our three moves for three minutes. Let's dig deeper, and after that, kind of a cool down and stretch. We will have done our part for our heart today. Good heart health, good strength on our bodies. All right, about ready to go here. When that bell goes off, whatever we've got left, whatever we've got left. Okay, here we go. Forward back sprints and cross jacks. We're going 60 seconds right here. Oh, we're going more than 60 seconds because that was the bell. Oh, I thought I heard a different horn, but that's okay. Because I know you can do a little bit more. I know you can only do a little bit more. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Okay. 
Now remember the option here. Remember the option. Take the bounce up, step one foot up and over, up and over on those cross checks. And just pace it out. You guide the pace, you guide the dip on those forward back sprints. side to side, and we can also be from our knees. Shoulders, right over those elbows. These are the low, plank, Sarah Jacks. We got them in the house today. Keeping that strength, keeping that length, halfway, halfway. No push-ups. No push-ups and dig deeper. You're welcome, Nancy. You're welcome, Nancy. I got you right here. We're covered. We're good. Yeah. Keep digging now. Keep digging now. Everyone. Everyone. Tap out. Tap out. Hop, hop, squats. Coming up for the final three. Just two hops. And hit that squat. Remember the option, step side to side, and get into it. Thirty more seconds left. Come on. Three zero. Seconds, more like 15 now. More like 15. Can we take it to the end? Can we finish together? Can we finish together? Come on, finish with me. Don't stop, don't stop. Right to the end. And there it is. All right. Cool down and stretch time. Cool down and stretch. Y stance. Inhale. Nice and tall. And exhale. And let it out. Fold down. And again, reach. Nice and high. And exhale. Fold. All right. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. For being right here. Right here in this moment. Thanks for trusting me with your workout, with your health, with your fitness. One more time, I lost count. Inhale up, and now straight legs, flat back and chin up, and come down nice and slow. Just remember, we have the replay of this anytime you want to do this again. Good, as we unlock our arms and drop the crown of our head, and rock side to side, and above the bottom of that ball. Good stretch on the hamstrings and that lower back. And our hips. We're going to release our hands and then walk those hands over towards the right foot. Pivot that foot so we can hold a hamstring stretch. Either our hands on the ground or above or below the knee. Now this 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 replay will be available almost immediately. So if you want to just do it again, that's fine too. You can do it again and like just take a little breather. Probably not, right? Let's walk over to the other side. Pivots, that left foot. Let's walk those hands back to center. Right hand right below the face. Inhale the left hand up toward the sky for a straddle twist. The left hand will come down now. Inhale the right. Good. Let's bring both hands down. We'll step back to downward dog. I'm facing the side. Once we get back to downward dog, just alternate those hands. 
Stretch those calves and heels and arches. Take care of those feet. Take care of those arches. We want good, healthy plantar fascia. Again, no itis, no itis, you guys. Take care of those feet. Walk those feet up towards our hands. Come on up, right. Finish with a quad. Stretch, right heel to our glutes. Knees side to side and hips forward. And same thing on the side. All right, everybody, be active, be healthy, be happy. Thanks so much for being here this morning. Have a wonderful day.